everyone welcome to Simon Tooth today we come back with our friend car is the Nissan Navara V6 3 liters this is very friendly car to any Australian especially countryside people they live on countryside back in the day Nissan Navara is one of the most famous car before they are up here some Toyota but Nissan Navara is one of the most common cars on countryside everywhere in Australia because back in the day it's not so expensive so that's why countryside people they can't afford to buy this one so that's why they buy this car instead of they buy so expensive car back in their day so this is 2000 and, and what? I don't know 2003 I did have 3 liter V6 bring here for me to inspection the oil leak and I check around there no leaking down just a little bit minor leak from the rocker cover it's not important and uh, <clears throat> check everything and I do full service for them run on gas so the belts still alright but a bit loose so this one separate belt one two three belts so first thing first what we have to do is loose all the belts and try to check the uh, leak the concern much about the leak is here see the leak underneath with the oil dripping heavy underwear coming out from here the wet and I strongly say the leak is from see the leak still there the leak is from the front main seal so this is the timing change uh, the timing belt but some reason they got the little timing cover on the top here is leaking so I may release all the belt and take up the harmonic balancer here and take it, this one up I hope I hope okay and um, take up the belt and then check and move the uh, main crank belt main front main crank seal to replace first and see what happened so this is strongly recommend from here you can see it wet from here so today that's what we're gonna do and it's the big job not small job okay easy I will take up the cover and try to adjust all the belt loose and take up the fan if I could and then I can have your hand enter in there just in case uh, something else because the fan all along the way here we cannot take up the hammer bouncer we have to remove the fan never know for someone who never know there is the little tensioner down here number 12 take up that tensioner and you can move this one and the belt should be loose and you see the belt very loose so later when we put on it have to be tight see this one a little bit tighter this one a little bit tighter and you'll be alright and you don't hear any quicker noise and take any tensioner up on that side and tensioner up this one is on this side <coughs> and you can move it out on this side tensioner is this one take up the number 14 and turn this one down this will drop down and take up this belt but before I do that leave all the belt try to turn loose number 10 here turn them loose before you remove the belt so it can hold in there and you can turn out of the way the fan is turning and you cannot um, take up the fan from the water pump housing here so take up number 10 first <coughs> leave all the belt before you do anything else okay loose them all out first and you can take up the uh, tensioner so or loose first we need we need something holding see when it's turning we cannot undo them Solution put the black screwdriver there and take them out because sooner or later we need to take this one off so we can remove the bear housing out the hammer bouncer sorry the so all loose and uh, we take off the fan and remove the fan cover come out together so remove the fan cover fan cover come out together to do is take it off the ladies you can slide anywhere you want but you may have to take up together with the fan cover 
So remember how you take it out, not how you put it back on later, okay? For Nissan, the engine is alright, but when it turns for maintain and service for some big job like this, it's the very pain on the ass, this car, because they have no room at all. Especially Nissan x and all that, that's why. That's why back in the day when you talk about Nissan to me, I really scared and I get a good bump straight away. So we got them, release all the tensioner, take all the belts out. And remember, all the belts, they need to go back later. So which one go which, you should know. Big one here, medium one, small one. Done, now we take it off. And number 14, so this one, release this one, right? And then uh, 14. So we take this one out, just like that. <coughs> Loosen more out, and then top one. And this one would drop down, see? Drop itself there, and don't take it out, leave it there. The Nissan, something look very simple, but not very easy at all. The pump on the jaw is the tensioner for this one on the back here. And it's got the power steering here, and you can not enter your hand in there. To lose so I lose this one out already so I lose them out the bolt you need the shifter go underneath and lose this one out say I told you that's why it pan on the jaw so now to get a quick to pull it or get a little bit of something here get a hammer hit it here and it go down when do this bolt we have no pressure no turn at all make sure this one on the unlock position and you will see the way they go and you gotta put this one on like that and slide it on okay one more try different way around So I got him out baby, see, I got him out baby, one kick, come up, <laughs> so he even came up, <laughs> Woo. La la. later have fun to put him back together, and now have fun to put it out, so how are we going to get him out, there is another story, okay, so hopefully I get the hammer, mallet hammer, knock underneath and it should come out, hopefully. So that's the technica. This one, don't ever use your muscle because you never get it out without using this technique. For any car, you should using this technique, okay? We have to take up this cap and we get the flat screwdrivers. Take up the old seal and put a new seal on and you will be alright, huh? And uh, don't worry about it. So get the flat screwdrivers, take it up and the seal should be in there and put the new one on. Turn to the uh, target you want and uh, make the uh, mark so the mark the pulley there and there and make the mark take the photo if you want and before you remove the uh, tummy belt the number 14 and you can lose the belt out so later that's where you have to put them okay 14 undo this one and you can lose the tension out and then you can take up the belt and you can remove the pulley Ugh. Not a heavy one, be careful with your hands. Don't make yourself hurt, okay? So that's how it come out. See this one? You can take it off, man. So it came out. This pin up. Take this one up and slowly slide this one along if it come out. If not, you have to use in some technique. See, it come out. See? Come out before we can enter in here for the big man seal here. So that's where the big man seal leak and I get it up. <clears throat> All you have to do is slide them out. So the key only one way go. See it one way go. Come out and leave it there on here. And that's how they come out. That's how they get back in with this one along. And this one go on. You put in order. Later you're gonna take it out in order. And put it back in order. Remove the old seal with the picks. 
put in here, pull it out, and then make sure secure with more silicon and silicon outside that holding the rings and not moving in and out. And the rings inside here were nice and tight. We've been matched so many of them. So this is the old one. And I get three of them. So three of them I get any of them we match in and I put on, okay? So no wrong about that. So I return it to. And I have to uh, go and pick up my daughter. And I come back and put everything back together. And the new timing chain, timing belts you need. And uh, timing extensioner, okay? With super silicon and now we're gonna put everything back how you get back out that how you get back in so we put this one on first to protection from here that's where I want to go and I put this key the die the dice the what it call I don't know but it's got to be going there okay the dice the little pin to hold the timing gear in position and now I try to do a uh, put the tensioner on and uh, put the belts on. And this one should be go on this one. And the other one should be on the other one. So making sure that you are checking, okay? And this one, different way around. So there must be this one for this one. And this one. So this one for that one and one of them was move so I have to see that one is there so this one will move backward a little bit so I make sure put them on put them on <coughs> put this one on when you got a new belt on the um, new belt and then you make sure you draw the mark exactly the same all you have to do is put them on the right position and um, you do not you do it yourself you have to tie them with the cable but if you do two people it will be easy so one person have to be like that okay on the right mark see there and go back here exactly the same you're gonna leave it on the same position with the other one so you hardly see here because it's really in here the way I can show you and that's how it should be and this one a little bit loose here because you need to turn until you see the mark there the target there it go there so um, I put this one on okay. oh, where are my tools oh where is it man where 14 14 here and put in this pulley and turn this one until you mix this one see and you will see this one go straight and the paint go there and it will be light in this one down here it's gonna be like that okay and um turn this one turn this one to the target you want and the down here will straight yep it will be straight and there here will be go on and you will see you will see the line the dot it dot and line in there and you see the dot on the dot i'm marking there and the light there and it wouldn't run out anyway see always check the drumming mark with your eyes and checking again and again and you see this one when you put on now we can put this one on the new timing kits when you buy a timing chair belt they come with the new kit okay i'm uh, using deco the good one so using the um, timing kit, they come with the new one. Just for key here, you need a bit of Allen key, and you turn. See, it's gonna push it up. You see, and you lock it, and you push up about 25 degrees or 45 degrees, up to you, man. So I push up like this, and I turn myself on. how it is so you like go to 90 degrees huh? I always want like go 90 degrees but don't do it too tight and too hard and you may break and snap the belt very easy so that's what I do and make sure you tight beautiful see and uh, that's it 
that's how you install them on. I guarantee 100% the oil wouldn't leak nowhere. What I do now, lock this one back on. You by your hand, you can see the pressure there and there, and that will be done. So final check before you cut off the cable tie in here, and you'll be all right. So it's good, it's in correct place. And got enough tension, enough tension, enough tension. So that's how it is. I always put the Allen key on 90 degrees and pull it up like this, 45 degree up, and I'll be all right. So that's enough. And uh, we're gonna put the new car cover on. I clean the cover here. I've cleaned the covers, not because they uh, make it look clean, just to know that if it leak and I can tell straight away. That's all I have to do. So now we tie them on. So always, bottom one on first, and this one come last. Oh, the hose is on. Now we try to put in one by one the belt, pulley, and uh, we can start it up and we'll see how it go. And uh, we do the last service is uh, replace oil, oil filter and air filter, and my job will be complete. Hopefully, new belt working good and uh, the brand new seal I put on should be working good that's what I want to see now we put pulleys on and this one on and we go into uh, put pulleys belt on and we tension every one by one so make sure it's strong enough and not loose like before and uh, if it loose when you start up the engine you will hear the belt rip noise the second belt is the most difficult one for adjustment of uh, the third one and this is the last one so we got to do the big one first the big one go in there the big one easy super easy right there and right there if you can see you can do it man cover go in together the cover go in like that and the fan go on like that so they are rubber. They like twins, brother. Okay. It's easy to get them going together. Otherwise, you and you go separate. It's ridiculous, I man. Juice on. Some green juice on. Now I'm gonna put some added in some water and uh, i will start it up for the moment of juice and youtube simon tools never edit everything raw from real stories from broken to damage to fix to broken again that's what simon does so put water on and still leave the cap open and start up the engine let them suck them all in and see any more leak before we replace oil oil filter and a filter and we get it go for a long time so what i do leave it like that grab my key when i chop the key down the floor just in case someone's taking it and start it and moment of juice is here no feeding gotta be feeding simon we got brand new coming and try to see uh, we will start and work beautifully now I'm about to do full service and everything ready to go I'm happy with no leak and anything so the car will start one kick straight away uh, and I hope you understand how Simon did thanks for watching Simon too see ya